Sustainability. Uh, Christopher Reeves, Margie Little. This is the last day of Black History Month. say I am an author during the day. I am also a police officer at night. Today I'm going to talk to you about three things I want you to repeat after me. Communication. Communication. All right, one more time. Communication. Communication. Peace. Peace. Sustainability. Sustainability. I did three and I went like this. Y'all saw that? All right, communication. You don't got to repeat. Communication, peace, and sustainability. So, I was created. I was born here, Broward County, Florida, December 23rd, 1994. Just I'm going to give you the whole backstory, then we'll get into it. Two parents, Sonia and Roger Allen, Jamaican and Bayesian descent. Bayesian, that's Barbados. All right, pick up to my island massive. I was loved by my parents and cherished. They were very important in me getting a nice education. Anyone went to Liberty Elementary? Shout out to you. I went to Liberty Elementary, William Danny Middle School. Yo. Fort Lauderdale High School. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got my bachelor's degree at Vincennes University. But I want to tell you something, I did have a vision from a child, and that vision helped me to create reality. Copy that? Cool. So middle school, I was in the pre-law program at William Danny Middle School. High school, I was in the pre-law program also. And in college, I studied Homeland Security and Public Safety. Are y'all bored yet? Vincennes University, V-I-N-C-E-N-N-E-S. So I can talk a lot about me, but today I'm gonna talk about you, cool? I have two legs, breath in my body. I'm able to move around, think for myself, right? Some would say I'm blessed, would you say that? Okay, yeah, definitely blessed. I see all of y'all got the same thing. I see beautiful faces. I see able-bodied, able-bodied young men and women. And you are blessed as well. You have some great advantages being at this great school. So who would you be to sit here and do nothing with it? Here, pin drop. I like that. Who would you be to take all of these great opportunities you have and then just let it sit there, let it go by? I can't do that. So what I want to talk about is creating. You get value from things when you create. You're going to get value from your person when you create yourself into a better, a better 
we'll say an upgraded version of yourself, all right? So let's say communication. communication. One more time, communication. communication. Peace. Peace. Sustainability. Sustainability. All right, excellent. So babies, babies. Anyone have a baby, sister, brother, cousin, whatever it is? Cool. What do babies do when they are uncomfortable? They got to pee, they got to poop. They, they do what? They cry. So as a child, as an infant, the first thing you do is create. You created a way to communicate with the world. You created a way to say, hey, uh, parent, I'm uncomfortable, right? Anyone have a favorite vehicle? You can yell it out, Tesla. Bugatti, ooh, that boy got money. Maserati. Come on, hell yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said a hoopy? Ferrari? All right. McLaren, Mercedes, Rolls Royce. All right. All right, one mic, one mic, when I say one. All right, that's it. So vehicles, vehicles all, oh, they have different mechanisms, right? In the dashboard, different sensors. And they communicate with the driver. The dashboard tells you what? You got a flat tire, right? It tells you when you have someone on your right and on your left, right? It tells you when you're low on gas, when your engine's about overheat, when your seatbelt's not on, it go bing, bing, yeah? Vehicles communicate, and they're created to communicate with the driver. Cool? All right. I know everyone in here has a cell phone, probably, right? Team Android, Team iPhone. Which one? Come on. Okay, cool. All right, so I got an iPhone right here. iPhone 13 Pro Max. All right, quiet, quiet, quiet. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I just upgraded. I had the iPhone 8 Plus. So I ain't know I went from one camera to three. I went from a little button to no button. I went from all black to Sierra Blue. Stop playing with me, boy. Yeah, okay? So the iPhone upgrade. The iPhone was actually released in 2007. What year were y'all, um, what year were y'all born? Okay. 08, 09, 07, okay. 2007, I was in middle school. All right, so check it out. The iPhone was released. Quiet, quiet. One mic, one mic. That's what they do at uh, open mics. One mic, one mic. All right, so 2007. January 9th, Steve Jobs and his team created, hold on, hold on, they created, I need y'all to pay attention, they created, ooh, I could, they created value, they created the iPhone, and what that did was 100% revolutionize the way that humans communicate with one another, right? We don't send messenger pigeons to our grandparents, we... I hope you call them. You send a text, right? Y'all FaceTime, Snapchat, Instagram, the whole nine yards. Twitter, I don't know. So you communicate on your iPhone. Quiet. So from the beginning of time, from when they had 2007 until now, iPhones have upgraded. So like we are talking about it, uh, they were bigger, they got a little more thin. That's an upgrade, right? Uh, you have one camera, now you got three. That's an upgrade, right? Everyone say upgrade. upgrade. All right, one camera, now you got three. Upgrade. Cool. Quiet, quiet, quiet. So from 2007 until now, 2022, the iPhones have upgraded. Some of y'all were born in 2007. 
and y'all are not babies anymore, right? So I would say y'all are a lot more important than a vehicle, right? You're smarter than an iPhone. So what have you done from 2007 until now to enhance the way that you communicate with one another? When you shake hands, do you look someone in the eye? Oh, Lord. Do you text people instead of call them? All right, when you get mad, do you cuss people out? So I say you need an upgrade. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go into. What? Next thing we're going to is a way to create peace. All right, so creating peace. I am an author, like you did say. The, uh, the name of the book is called A is for Africa. You can pass that around if you want. I am also a police officer. Now, I'm also 27. I am an African American male. So one thing I have to do is create peace. Sometimes in my job, it gets really stressful, and I'll tell you about one story where I had to create peace with myself. Got it? All right, so 4th of July, 2019, you get a call. Attention all units, we got shots fired at the 1900 block of 60th Avenue. And here I am in training, rookie cop. I'm sitting there like, oh boy, that's real. So we get another call, right? And when you start getting more calls, it's, it's not just a little whatever, it's real. So we get there, and fireworks are going over here. Fireworks are going over here. I hear gunshots in the distance, and people are outside just walking around like nothing happened. But we keep getting updates. Black male on the ground, white shirt, blue jeans, black sneakers, not conscious, not breathing. So now we're walking down the street. We're walking down 19th Street, right? Four people here, four people over there, and I'm walking and I'm shaking. I'm a little scared, I ain't gonna lie. I'm shaking. We're going through backyards, we're going through driveways, looking at houses and cars, and we're like, where's this guy? We keep getting updates. The caller is not cooperating. She's crying in the background. So it's, it's real. Now we get there. And what is my role? What do I have to do? What do you think I gotta do? My Lord, no. So here, here's what I gotta do. Someone has to check the house. Someone has to secure the crime scene. I have to go down here with the patient, the victim. So I'll get up so y'all can see me. So I get down. So I get down there, right? And I'm like, wow, that's one gunshot wound. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yeah. sir. And again, I'm shaking. I'm like, oh, wow. But I created a way of peace where I go right back into my training. And I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing. Packing the wound, making sure he has compressions, um, calling the fire rescue. I, I always say um, it felt like one year when it was actually about 10 seconds until fire rescue came. They got him, they picked him up, took him to uh, Broward General, and guess what happened? He died. All right, so that means y'all ain't, y'all really ain't experienced nothing because I, I, I heard somebody laugh. That's not funny. So that young man died. He, he's no longer with us. So what I had to do that moment, that day, that night, actually, I went back to the crime scene, and I was like, wow, the guy just died right in front of me. 
I had to find a way to create peace within myself so I didn't quit right then and there. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I had a, I didn't know it then, but I knew, I know now I had a book to write. So one way I created peace was going to the beach. One way I created peace was calling some of my friends and like, hey, uh, this really messed me up. Let's talk about it. Another way I created peace, I put on some rollerblades and I just started skating. I like skating. You like skating? Yeah. Um, I used to go to Galaxy back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So I had to create a way where I found peace within myself so I didn't crumble under the pressure. Got it? That was my first phase of training. I didn't know my front from my back. And here I am, someone died right in front of me. Another story? Y'all want another story? All right, cool. So, now I'm off training. Everybody say hallelujah. Okay, I'm off training. I'm riding down 60th. I'm in my charger. And I look cool. I got my hat on, my sleeves and everything. And I'm rolling. I get another call. Attention all units. We have a 67 medical call, cardiac arrest. So 67, that means it's a medical call, cardiac arrest means someone's heart stopped working. Got it? So I get there, lights and sirens. So, you know, I get out the car, put on my gloves. I get my AED and I run up the stairs. I didn't want to take the elevator because over there, the elevators ain't really the best. It's yeah, they slow. So, I hear my boy on the radio, he's like, CPR started. Cool, I get there, dad's in the corner crying, not really letting us do CPR. We're getting, we're kind of like pushing him out. Hey, we got you, he's gonna be fine, we're doing CPR. Boom, boom, boom. And guess what, fire rescue gets there. I'm like, fire rescue, step it up. Felt like a year, it was really about 10 seconds, they hook him up, take him to Florida Medical, I follow him, and that 32 year old male, which is not old at all, he died. Dang, and boy you old for two. So again, that day, that day was a little worse because I was there you know, like, giving the chest compressions. I was there when, you know, telling dad he's gonna be okay. We followed fire rescue all the way to the hospital and that he's gonna be okay ended up not being true. We could all step outside. So anyways, that moment I had to go in my police car in my nice Dodge Charger and create peace. I ain't gonna lie, I did a little ugly cry. And I definitely had to call someone after work. I definitely had to, uh, where's the book? I definitely had to write down some of my thoughts. And I definitely had to make a creative outlet so that I didn't quit or crumble. My question to you, yeah, yeah. My question to you would be, how do you create peace for yourself? Because we are creators, right? You've created a way to communicate. I want you to create a way to find peace and then create a way to be sustainable with that. All right, so everyone say sustainability. sustainability. I ain't hear the left side. Everyone say sustainability. sustainability. All right, cool. So sustainability, I'll go to the notes has three pillars. It says economy, society, and environment. I didn't really understand that too much. I read a little further. It said profit, people, and planet. I broke that down to me, you, and the world. We have to connect with one another by communicating and taking things one step at a time. Got it? One conversation at a time, one person at a time. You know, y'all do one grade at a time. And that's how you can create a system that works for you. Now you're gonna repeat after me. Your vision is key to the success of your dream. 
That was good. I'm going to do it one more time. Your vision is key to the success of your dreams. Move forward and onward. You can do anything. Outstanding. So I had a vision a long time ago. I wanted to be a, a police officer because I wanted to be a part of the community and help in a big way, right? I had a vision for a book, so I had ideas. I had to write it down, make it plain, look at it. I literally went from thought to paper. And then I had it somewhere so I could look at it all the time. And then my sister-in-law put out a book, and I was like, oh wow, what she did in three months, I haven't even touched in a year. And that was one of the big driving factors that was like, you're not only a police officer, you are a creator. So you've created, multi, yeah. So you've created something for the world that can be used over and over and over again. Create a way to communicate, create peace for yourself, and create a system that works for you. Thank you so much for your time. That's it, Mark Christopher Allen. All right, on the back of my shirt, I do this at all the events They're with elementary school kids and adults too. So you're gonna read Africa and say something really nice about the whole continent with every letter. Got it? So I need you to repeat after me. Attitude of love. Attitude of love. All right, one more time. Attitude of love. Fierce in fight, royal in blood, illuminated with light, culture for the world, Africa.